guys, it's Rachel. So today I am going to be doing a very special, emotional, and very overdue story time on my channel. So, as some of you may or may not know, I, I, it feels so fake getting to say this, but I met Taylor Swift. And on August 17th, it will be five years when you guys are seeing this. It will be five years since this moment happened, but I will never be over this moment. That was my biggest dream, and I want to tell you guys properly the story of me meeting Taylor because I've mentioned it on this channel, but I wanted to sit down for my five-year anniversary and just tell you guys properly what happened, how it all went down, what she said to me, the whole thing. So, I can't believe it's been five years. I really can't. Where do I begin? I'm going to start off by telling you guys the background, how it happened, so you guys get the full context. Okay, so it was July 2014, and Taylor noticed me for the first time. She noticed me on Instagram, and fans were tagging her and stuff because she had been interacting with fans on Instagram, and of course, I wanted Taylor to know who I was, so she liked a picture of me standing next to a cardboard cutout, and um, it was for something for kids, I believe, and I had just posted it, and she liked it, and she also liked a picture of my cat, like, staring at the wall with all my Taylor pictures on it, so she liked those two pictures. Fast forward to August 2014. Um, she liked my picture again. I was just excited because she was about to go on Jimmy Fallon and I was like who's excited for Jimmy Fallon tonight? I posted a picture. She liked it. I went crazy. So Then we get to 1989 My dad and I were actually driving to Nashville that day because we were on vacation We just wanted to go explore Nashville so we got there in time for the Yahoo live stream. We were in the hotel room and it was live from New York. There were fans in the audience. And um, I remember Taylor saying very clearly that she was going to make it possible to meet as many of us as she possibly could that era. And I remember saying, I have chills. I didn't say that, but I remember I said, this is going to be the era where I meet Taylor. And then on August 17th, 2015, I met Taylor. So dreams do come true. Okay, so how this happened. So then upon the 1989 release, Taylor started interacting with fans on Tumblr. And so I, of course, was on Tumblr. And I was posting selfies for her, just little snippets, what my favorite songs are, post pictures from, you know, concerts, stuff like that. So, she saw my picture when I went and got 1989, and I took so many selfies, of course, and there was a particular selfie that she saw, she liked, and when she did that, she decided, oh, I'm not going to only like it, I'm going to save it to my phone put this filter that she had been using on all her pictures on it and post it to Twitter with the caption and I know for you it's always me. So that happened. I am at my grandma's, okay? We were over there watching a Patriots game, I remember it very clearly, and I was in the floor. Literally, I had to like leave the area, I was in the floor crying. And I called my mom, ran into the back room, I was like, Mom! Taylor just posted my thing on Twitter, like she posted my selfie, and I'm like crying, and my mom is like, oh my gosh, like, it's like she's really talking to you. Well, I was in for it, okay? So, after that, Taylor keeps liking my pictures, okay? Like, and she'll like anything of mine, even if I had a chorus concert in high school, and I was like, oh my gosh, getting ready for my chorus concert, she'd like it. If I had a bad day, she'd like it. She was always on my blog, okay? I'm not kidding you when I say that she would like 20 of my posts in a row. It was crazy. And I was like, what is happening? So, then it was November, 
and this is when Taylor was really paying attention to me. It was around the time of the AMAs, and I was on Instagram. I posted a picture of my mom and I, and my mom and I were just, I remember really clearly we were just downstairs, we were jamming to Taylor, I had on a Taylor shirt, I just decided to post a picture. Well, she liked that picture, and I remember I was like crying. So, so I saw the like before I went upstairs and went to bed, and then my mom and I were like, okay, good night. I went in my room, and I had a direct message on Twitter. Well, I had a direct message on Twitter from Taylor's team. Confidential message from Taylor Nation. And I didn't even know what to think. I was absolutely just, I was floored. So I went racing into my mom's room and I'm like, mom, mom, like Taylor's management just, just, um, just message me, direct message on Twitter. Like, what do I do? So they asked for my address and stuff like that. And they asked, of course, not because it was confidential, not to tell anyone. Okay, so that happened. And then it was the weekend of the AMAs. I confirmed, you know, my address and all that. And I remember there, we were in front of, I think, AC Moore. And I'm being very descriptive because these are precious memories to me. So we were in front of AC Moore and like this Kirkland's that's in our area. So we were outside there. We were about to walk in and we were listening to our local radio station and it goes, um, Taylor Swift on the AMAs. And I just started crying. Like I bent over, I started crying. I, I didn't know what was happening. I knew something was up, but I was just crying and it was just hitting me all at once. So... <laughs> We'll skip to December 4th. I get a DM. Nothing had happened for about two weeks. I get a DM saying, hey, um, there's going to be something at your house tomorrow morning. Will there be somebody over the age of 18 to accept said thing? And I was like, oh my gosh, because Taylor had been sending fans Christmas presents, but I was like, there's just no way this is happening to me. Honey, you had a big storm coming. So I was like, mom, dad, like, can I skip first and second block? Like, I'll go for the rest of the, the day at school, but my first block is English and I have an A, like, and my second block is study hall. Can I please stay home? They were like, yes. So my mom had to go to work. My dad had to go to work. But my grandma, she, uh, she came over and signed for the package. <sighs> dad was driving me over to my mom's. And, um, he was like, let me know if anything happens. Like, I'm only a phone call away. Like, let me know what's happening. I was like, of course. We walk up to the front porch and my grandma's like, yeah, like it just came. Um, there's a 22 pound package that was overnighted to you. And I swear to you, I have never flown into the floor so fast. I straight up dove into the floor. I knew right away then because I opened the box and on top was this letter, beautifully written. My name was beautifully written on it, and it was just how Taylor had been writing the other fans' names as well. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so I was like, oh my god, it's from Taylor. So, so my dad runs out to his car while I'm frantically opening this, and he grabs his camera so he can take pictures for the moment. And he calls his work and he's like, yeah, guys, I'm going to be late. My daughter really just got a package from Taylor Swift. And they're like, what? And he's like, no, like, I'm not joking. So they, they let him come in late. And so, yeah, I opened my presents from Taylor on December 5th. December 5th, 2014 is when I received presents from Taylor. So she gave me a beautiful friendship bracelet that said Taylor loves Rachel and she wrote on the note, Rachel, so you never forget. She gave me a Polaroid camera. She gave me sweaters from London when she went to go do the Victoria's Secret fashion show. She had gotten me a Los Angeles beanie when she was actually doing the AMAs and I just didn't know what was happening. So she was shopping for me for about two weeks and oh my gosh. So at the end of the card, it said, and I can't wait to meet you soon. Love you, Taylor. And I was like, oh my gosh, what do you mean? Like, I'm meeting her soon, what is happening? So, 
It was May 2015. I hadn't heard anything from December to May, and Taylor was still keeping in touch with me online. She'd like my stuff. Okay. I am sitting in Highway 55 with my dad, which is a burger restaurant, and I get another direct message from Taylor Nation. Now, the tour had just started, so first of all, they were asking if we could use the Swift Miss video, if we had permission from, you know, if we were under 18, if we could sign a document um, stating that we were allowed to have it as 1989 World Tour promo and entertainment before the show. So they were asking, oh, by the way, like, what shows are you going to? So I went, I, of course, uh, messaged them back right away. I was like, hey, like, I'm going to DC and I'm going to Glendale. Taylor knew I was going to Glendale. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sending in the documents. Like, didn't hear anything after that. I didn't hear anything until August 17th, 2015. And, uh... <laughs> so, my dad and I had flown out to Arizona on August 16th, 2015, the day before the show, just so we could get settled into the hotel. And most people had gotten the call for, you know, to meet Taylor, like, the day before not me. I was like, oh my gosh, it's not happening. So in conclusion, I was spiraling the night before. So my dad and I, we wake up on August 17th, 2015, and it was the day of my show. And we got up early. We went to Cracker Barrel. I bought this little stuffed fox. And you know what? We still hadn't heard anything. My phone was right beside me. So we leave breakfast, we went by the arena and just took a couple pictures for fun. And then uh, we were like, okay, let's go back to the hotel. Let's make a poster, go pick it up at Walgreens. Let's make costumes. We're gonna try and get Taylor's attention tonight. Or her mom. If you guys don't know, Taylor meets people after the show. So we wanted to try and get Loft 89. And so, um, I am going to get chills and I'm going to probably get choked up. So I had started making a poster on an app on my phone and I got up and I went and sat next to my dad. I was like, hey, like, what do you think of like this design? I sat down, my phone starts vibrating. And it was from Nashville. And I looked at my dad and I went, oh my God. And I answered and I said hello and she said hi is this Rachel I'm like yes hi and she said hi this is Sierra from Taylor Nation and I got up and I just started pacing I went I literally got up looked out the window of our hotel I'm like oh my god like I was such in shock and she was like oh like so you're going to the show tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm really excited. And she's like, oh, good. Taylor's really excited to meet you. And that, I literally doubled over. I was like, I just started crying. I was like, I was like, are you serious? Like, oh my gosh. Like, and I, I even like apologized to her. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, no, like, it's fine. It's fine. But she's really excited to meet you. I still have chills. So I of course told her that I was with my dad and we gave her the name. We got all our stuff for will call. We had to be at will call between 4 and 4.30 to pick up our meet and greet pass. So we do all that and um, so I get off the phone with Sierra. All the details had been settled out and I looked at my dad, I went, oh my god, and I just hugged him and sobbed, like cried, 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 and my dad was crying, I was crying, and so we were like, okay, like, we're meeting Taylor. So 
I had brought her a couple presents. My dad had taken a beautiful picture of New York City, like the skyline, and I had written a message on the back for her. And then also I got her a cat shirt. And so my dad was like, well, let's go get a gift bag. So we went and got a gift bag. I had written her a letter. And so we went to the mall. So we pick up the meet and greet pass around 4.30. And my dad and I were like, it is so hot. There was a little restaurant literally within like 200 feet of the arena, like right in front of the arena. So we go into the restaurant to cool off and they're playing Taylor music videos. And uh, I was just sitting there crying. Like I, I just had tears in my eyes. Like every time I'd stare at the screen, like I spent so long waiting for this moment and I was finally getting my moment. And I remember I was just like staring at the screen, watching the music videos, like absolutely crying. Love Story came on and Love Story, that was the song that started my love for Taylor. So I was just like emotional. So it's time to go into the arena. We get to the section that was conveniently the section we were sitting in. Um, we met in that area and they took our names and they were like, oh, you're Rachel, right? And I was like, yes. And they brought me, they escorted me to the front of the line. And I was like, oh, like, why are we getting, because I was very confused why we were getting moved to the front of the line. And this guy from Taylor Nation was like, oh, like, Taylor's guests are up here. And I'm thinking, I'm who now? I am who's guest? Um, so she had moved me and my dad to the front of the line so she could see us first and uh, have time with us. <sighs> okay, so we're standing in line, which feels like forever. We were standing in the arena for a while and then we got moved backstage and I was very first in line. The radio people had gone in, but other than that, like the meet and greet people, I was first in line. I was standing outside Loft 89 and I remember I was literally just, I was looking at the ground. I was like, I was so in shock that this was happening. Like I'm for real. Like I was just in this like daze, this trance. It just felt like a dream and I didn't know how to handle it. So I'm looking and um, Mama Swift walks by and she's like waving to me and my dad like nudges me and okay so then it's time to go in. So we get into Loft 89 and Erica who is a part of Taylor's team is like oh like you're Rachel right? And I'm like yes. So there's this box with curtains is the best way I can describe it because Taylor truly does like private time with the people she meets and so I was standing outside. The guy who I had talked to, who moved us to the front of the line, went in to make sure Taylor was ready. So uh, the curtain pulls back like for like two seconds while he runs in to make sure she's ready. And I go, oh my God, because I caught a glimpse of Taylor. Taylor was like fixing her hair. And I was like, oh my God. And my dad's like, Rachel. And he was like laughing because everybody behind me definitely heard that. Taylor probably did because she was like 500 feet in front of me. <sighs> okay. So it is time to tell you about the moment. So he comes back and he's like, okay, like you're good to go. So it was my time. The moment I had been waiting for since I heard Love Story was about to come true. My biggest dream was about to come true. So the guy who had escorted us to the front, the guy who had gone in to make sure Taylor was ready, came and pulled back the curtain. He said, okay, you can go in now. Taylor sees me and she goes, Rachel, my buddy, we go running to each other. We hug. We don't let go of each other. And she did not let me go whatsoever. And we hugged for a really long time. So then she, so then she's like, I'm so glad you're here. Like, I'm so happy we're finally meeting. And I'm like, oh my gosh, me too. So then, so when she's like, I'm so happy we're finally meeting, I'm staring at the ground because I'm in the presence of Taylor Swift and I didn't know how to act. So I was like, yeah, me too. 
And then she walks up to my dad, hugs my dad, and is like, thank you for coming. She's like, you have a great daughter. And my dad's like, oh, I know. And like, they're laughing. She comes back over to me. And she's like, just beautiful. Okay, Taylor Swift is so pretty. But the pictures do not do this woman justice. She is like Barbie. She, her skin, I can't even describe it. She's like, does this woman have pores? I don't think so. She just looked so stunning. And so all that could come out of my mouth was, you're so pretty, you're so pretty, you're so pretty. I'm not kidding. That is all I could say. And she's like, thanks. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I love your outfit. And she was like, thanks, it's new. And she was like, I love the plaid you got going on. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. I don't remember her saying that. And uh, my dad told me that when I was like putting away my dress the next day. He was like, I love the plaid you got going on. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, Taylor said that to you. I'm like, when, when was that? I don't remember that, but... Honestly, glad my dad was there because all I could remember when I walked out of that meet and greet was Rachel, my buddy. That's literally all that was engraved in my head in the, I'm so glad you're here tonight. I'm so happy we're finally meeting. That was just etched in my brain. Okay. So <laughs> we just start talking. I thank her for the gifts. She's like, aw. And like, she's just so freaking sweet and she's holding my hand like this the whole time like she is holding my hand while we talk and then she looks down and she's like oh my gosh you have the bracelet on and I'm like yeah like I really wanted to wear it and then this is embarrassing but you know what we're telling the story so I had these fox clip-on earrings on because I know places was like my stand song from 1989 she had gotten me like a little fox ornament my card had a fox on it from her so I was like on tumblr I, you know I promised I'd wear something fox related so you know what period I was no matter what I was wearing so I had these little fox clip-ons on she's like oh I love these and she starts messing with them and I was so scared that they were gonna fall off so I like I was like like she was messing with it and I went Like, I was like, thanks. Like, I was like, I didn't want it to fall off, so I was like trying to readjust it, but I didn't realize she was like touching my ear, so that was funny. Imagine if that had fallen in the floor. That would have been um, a moment, but it was still funny. I was like, yeah, like I promised on Tumblr like that I would wear something Fox related, and she's like, yeah, and it was really cute. She was just so sweet. She makes you feel like you are the only person. She truly is so, so, so genuine. She's so focused on you. She does not rush you. She lets you say what you have to say. And when we first walked in there, we had just greeted each other and somebody from her management was like, oh, like, do you want to take the picture now? Are you guys ready for the picture? And I like turned and Taylor, I looked back and Taylor was like shaking her head no. And then she was like, like she, she acknowledged me to keep talking to her. She was just so freaking sweet. Anyways, she, she, guys, that little head nod that she did, like, yeah, you can say it. She's so sweet. I love Taylor. Oh. So then I tell Taylor that I met my friend Alexis and that I had flown from Virginia. And she goes, oh, I know. I'm like, you you, you, what? You, you know I flew from where? So, yeah, she's super, super sweet. And I said, you know, Alexis is in left pit. And she goes, left pit. Tell her I said hi. So then it was time to take pictures. And Taylor was like, let's get one with just us. And then we can take a group one. And I was like, okay. So then we just hugged for our picture. I honestly did not freaking know that she had her head on mine until I got the picture back. She's just so soft and everybody was like, oh my gosh, it looks like she's protecting you. And I'm like, stop it, I'll cry right now. <laughs> so we take our picture and then my dad gets on the other side of her and we take a group picture and Taylor kept blinking. She was like, oh my gosh, did I blink? 
and like she's just so freaking cute and she's just so bubbly and so she she's like oh my gosh did I blink we got to redo it can you make sure I didn't blink she's so cute and so she blinked a couple times and so I started laughing and I looked up at Taylor we looked up at each other and we were like laughing and we just like she that little smile she does where she's like <sighs> she's guys I know I know this is a mess but like I can't tell the story properly because I just get so excited and so it was after we took the picture and I was like Taylor I wanted to let you know like we left you gifts out there and she's like oh and she was like thank you so much and so I was like yeah like I got you a cat shirt and she was <laughs> She was just smiling at me so, so much. And then my dad was like, yeah, like, I took a picture of the New York City skyline, and Rachel wrote something on the back for you, and we thought you, that you would really like to have that picture. Smiling at me, and she's like, oh, give me a hug. So she, she pulls me in for another hug, and I'm just hugging her. And then she was like well it was so nice meeting you and I hope I said I love you Taylor I honestly don't know but then after that we walked out and that was it I remember getting an autograph I was in complete shock and uh, yeah that was my meet-and-greet with Taylor and I just, it feels so surreal even saying any of that still. It feels so fake because how in the world, she really made that happen for us. She really went out of her way to make sure she knew what show I was coming to. She really made it clear that we were going to meet and she made it happen and I really can't thank her enough for it. I really, really, really can't. She made all my dreams come true. She has shown me so much love throughout the years that I truly, I am so showered by her love. And I still, five years later, will never understand, me as a fan, what I did to deserve that. And out of millions and millions and millions of people that she could have found and that she could have sent presents to and requested to me, she requested me and guys I just want to say please never give up on your dreams please if you want to meet Taylor just please never give up I promise it will happen I never thought it would happen to me I got told so so many times you're never gonna meet her Taylor's never gonna know who you are so why bother you know following her the way you do dreams do come true I am Taylor Swift's buddy she said it not me that was very cringy but like you know what she said it I took it and I ran with it so I never properly told you guys what Taylor has said to me on this channel and I felt like it was time and I felt like because it was five years it was just the proper time to sit down and film a story time for you guys Taylor if you're watching this if you come across this by some happenstance please know that I hold that moment, I hold August 17th, 2015 to the highest regard because it is the day that I finally got to meet the person I had wanted to meet since I heard Love Story. You go out of your way to make me smile and you have truly been such a constant in my life. Friends come and go, you, my friend, have stayed and I for that reason will always stay not only because I absolutely love blasting your music because I love your character I love the way you treat people I love the way you shower people with your love I love the way you go out of your way to make them know that they are loved by you so thank you thank you thank you ten hundred times ten million times ten billion times for going out of your way for me and making me feel so special thanking me for being so loyal and telling me that I brighten your day when you've done that for me literally since I started following you you have no idea and I'm so so thankful for
for you. I'm so thankful for our moments together. And yeah, I really hope one day I get to catch up with you and update you on my life, tell you all the amazing things you've done for me since I met you. My thoughts will truly echo your name until I see you again. I truly love you to the moon and Saturn and beyond that, if we're being honest. I hope this video entertained you guys in some way and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.